Playwright is this amazing end-to-end -end testing framework for web applications uh, developed by Microsoft. At the moment that I'm recording this video, we can write down our scripts using Node.js, Python, Java, and .NET. I also want to tell you that they have developed a VS Code extension for the Node.js users. I, I want to give you all the details of how this extension is going to help you. It's going to help you with the installation process, the running test process, and the debugging process. And at the end, you're going to also see a GitHub Actions file, right? That is going to be, give you the report in HTML format with the results of your test execution. You're gonna love it. So I hope that you will watch it until the end and take a look of all the advantages that this VS Code extension offers to you. Extension Marketplace, and I'll be looking for a Playwright, okay? You're gonna see that the first option is the Playwright test for VS Code. Uh, right now it's a preview, but it is. I think that it is powerful enough to make you a demo, okay? We can take a look uh, in the future about new releases and new stuff that could be improving this experience. But at the moment that I'm recording this video, I promise you it's amazing. And I want to show you what, what we have over here, okay? So as soon as you have installed the, um, the extension over here, you're gonna see that uh, we're gonna have a testing tab in the le left side uh, menu. And right now I don't have anything here because my project is totally empty. So I'm gonna use the same extension to install um, the, the Playwright project. How I do it, basically, if you're using Windows OS, you have to press Control, Shift, and P. But in my case, it's Command, Shift, P, because I'm in Mac OS. And then you have to look for Install Playwright, okay? The first option here. You're gonna be uh, asked about the, the browsers that you want to install. In my case, I want to install Chromium, Firefox, and WebKit. Also, if you wanna have a GitHub Action Workflow automatically set up, you can click on this uh, option. You're gonna have a, a, a workflow a file, a YAML file with all the instructions to get this working. You're gonna see that it's amazing. So I'm gonna uh, select all the options that I have here and then I'll click on OK. You're gonna see that it is gonna uh, is, uh, generate a package.json. It is gonna uh, download all the node modules that I need. And also you can see my GitHub uh, Playwright YAML file here to, for the GitHub actions and stuff. And if I click on the testing uh, option here, I can perfectly click on this play button here and you're gonna see that my test is gonna be executed. And the only test that I have is already passed because it is working fine. It happened so fast, so you didn't notice how it works, right? But in the next part of the video, I want to explain you the small um, demo script that we have over here. And I want to explain you how you can debug it so you can see step by step what is happening in the script inside, okay? Let's go ahead and do it. Okay, masters, let me explain you what is happening in the demo script that we have under the tests folder and the name example.spec.ts, okay? As you're gonna see here, uh, well, the first step is that we're gonna be going to the Playwright dev web page. I'm gonna copy this and I'll be opening uh, my Chrome uh, web, uh, web browser to see what is gonna happen inside, okay? So as you can see in the, first, in the next line, uh, it is gonna check that the website itself has the title Playwright or it contain the, the substring Playwright uh, in the title element. So I'm gonna, open the inspector here. So I'm gonna inspect it, the website and you're gonna see that in my header probably, let me see where it is. Nope, it is in the head, I'm sorry. In the title tag, here we have the playwright substring in my title tag. So this uh, assertion over here is gonna work perfectly fine, right? Also, you're gonna see that uh, it is in the next line looking for or creating a new locator, okay? It, the locator name is going to be get started and it is looking for an element with the text get started, okay? So the only element that we have with the get started uh, text or value probably is this button over here. So I'm gonna inspect it, okay? And you're gonna see that the next assertion in the line 13 is basically to check that that button has the attribute href, which is this one over here, and the value docs introduction or intro, okay? And it has that particular value in that attribute. So it is gonna work fine. As soon as it is validated, you're gonna see that we're gonna be clicking on that button, right? So I'm gonna click on this, and then you're gonna see that the URL should contain the word intro as part of the URL, and it is true. So that, that's why the test 
execution that I just did before was working fine. Now that we understand what is happening here, I want to explain you how you can run this particular test in different web, web browsers using the VS Code extension that Playwright has developed. So I'm going to uh, come here and click on the testing tab and I can well, come here to the play button and in the right part you can see that I, and I can access a kind of a drop down here, right? And I can select for example Chromium right it is gonna restart the the what well, this i don't know the configuration and if i click on this the test is gonna be executed in chromium if i come here and check for example or click on webkit you're gonna see that it is gonna re reload the configuration and i can perfectly run that particular test in webkit i know you are not taking a look of uh, what what you can see over here right i know that you are not noticing what is happening, but let me show you something here interesting. And it is how the Playwright extension is going to follow, right, the execution line. Okay, take a look on this VS Code uh, part. Okay, I'm gonna run this again and look of how it is gonna go line by line executing the script. I know it is too fast, but let me do it again. Let me show you how it well go line by line executing all the script uh, steps that I'm that I have over here. I hope that you can get the idea. And now I want to explain you how you can debug your tests using this amazing extension. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's imagine that you want to stop your execute execution as soon as you're gonna click on the get started button, right? The, the this part of the script that I just explained to you before. Okay, so I'm gonna place a breakpoint in the line 16 over here, right? And that's it. Now I'll go to my testing uh, tab here in the bottom in the left side menu. And instead of clicking on the playing uh, or run test button, which is gonna work fine, you're gonna see this, but in the right, uh, you're gonna see a debug test button. You can uh, decide also uh, which browser do you want to use. Let's imagine that I want to use WebKit. Okay, and you're gonna see that it is gonna start the debugging mode, and you can see that I the script hasn't uh, clicked on the yet and on the get started button yet, right? Uh, so I can perfectly use the uh, step over uh, instruction here. So it is gonna click, and you can see that the script is at the assertion point. It is gonna check it to see if it has the URL or it contains the intro word inside of the URL, okay? So I can perfectly use the, um, the step over uh, function here or I can use, let's imagine the step into so we can see what is going to happen step by step inside of the playwright code, okay? So I think that this is amazing. You're gonna have a lot of insights about what is happening in your code. If you wanna debug something, also you can see step by step what is happening. So I just wanted to say that this is an amazing feature, right? Now in the next part, I want to explain you how you can use the recorder that is already inbuilt in this amazing VS Code extension. Let's go ahead and take a look of that. Record new, okay? I'm gonna click on that. And you're gonna see that it is gonna open a new instance of a Chromium, okay? So I can start navigating in internet to any website. So for example, I do have already a website here, which is the demo playwright slash, or I'm sorry, that dev that uh, slash to do MVC. I know I, it was a kind of messy explanation, but I'm gonna copy and paste that URL in my Chromium instance, which is recording every single step that I'm doing. And I can prove you that if I open my Visual Studio code, you can see a new page go to, right? And it is looking for or visiting the website that I just enter in my Chromium instance, okay? So let's imagine that I also want to click on this input and I want to add a new to-do. Let's imagine that I want to call this new to-do, all right? I have clicked, or I'm sorry, I have pressed the enter, um, well, keyboard, right? The enter key in my keyboard. And then I want to click on this uh, checkbox to, well, mark this to-do as completed, okay? You can see all these steps, uh, well, recorded in the test that uh, is automatically generated by Playwright. And that's amazing. And then at the moment that I'm recording this video, I don't know if I can make interactive assertions, something like double click over here and add an assertion. I don't think so, but if you have done an interactive assertion using the Playwright extension, well, 
please let me know in the comment section as well okay so i'm gonna close this execution and if i can prove you that this works because if i run this particular test you're gonna see that it is gonna work and if i place for example um well and a stop right uh, before it uh, makes the the check in my to do as uh, to um like like uh, emulate a checked or a completed to do right i can prove you that it is working because i can debug it as well right let me show you this well uh, it is stopped at this particular point it is not checked yet so i can click on this and you're gonna see that it is gonna work perfectly fine so guys i hope that you see the powerful um well the powerful feature that you have available using visual studio code but there is something amazing too that I want to explain to you. And let's imagine that you want to um, check that your selector is correct or not, okay? So I'm gonna delete this selector that I have here uh, when I click on the to-do's input, uh, right? Before we enter a new one. And I want to, well, debug my locator and make sure that it is going to locate the element as expected. So I'm gonna place a debug point here, a breakpoint, and I'll be executing this um, test again in debug mode, okay? So I'm gonna open my Chrome uh, instance here, which is uh, another one, right? Uh, and let's imagine that I wanna inspect this element, and you can see that it has a new class here, which is new to do, okay? So I'm gonna copy the class uh, value of this input element, and as you can see in my Chromium instance, right, at, at the moment that I'm uh, having a breakpoint, it is not looking for any element, so it is not finding anything. However, if I place, place the new class here, you're gonna see that there is nothing working because I haven't saved the changes, but also I'm missing a dot at the beginning of my selector. All right, I'm gonna save the changes and you're gonna see that now it has recognized my new CSS selector and you can use it for this kind of purposes, right? To make sure or, or tune your selectors. I hope that you see the power in this uh, BS Code extension. And now let's use the GitHub uh, workflow um, file that it has automatically generated to prove that this is working fine even using the GitHub Actions a CI/CD environment. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look. You probably see over here I have versioned my project right in a GitHub repository. My idea here is basically just um, proof that the GitHub action workflow that was automatically generated is working fine. Okay, you're gonna see that this YAML file has the name Playwright Test. It is gonna be triggered on push or pull requests under the branches main or masters. And here we have a lot of uh, steps under the test job, okay? It is gonna use the actions checkout, it is gonna use the setup node action as well, okay? And it is gonna install all the playwright browsers that we need, okay? And also at the end, you can see that it is gonna execute the tests that I have in my project. And as when it is already uh, done the execution it is going to use the upload artifact to well generate an html artifact that we're going to see in a few seconds okay you're going to love it i promise so i'm going to use the command um git commit allow empty and trigger build just to um to, tr to trigger a new build as soon as i push it right so i'm gonna do it git push origin uh, it is main or master let me see I think it is pain, right? Mm -hmm. All right, as you're gonna see, as soon as I pull this, I'm sorry, as soon as I push this, now it is triggered a new build over here, right? And uh, you're gonna see that uh, all the steps under the job is gonna be executed. It is running the checkout, set up nodes, it is installing the dependencies, then it is gonna download all the Playwright browsers, it is gonna take a few seconds until it is done. So I'm gonna, uh, well, cut this part of this of the video and at the end you're gonna see the execution lock to see that everything is working fine and i want to explain you how you can get the artifact at the end of the execution okay masters as you can see well the the build is done it is in in, in green it, it happened correctly 
there is no error in this execution. If I open the, uh, well, the, the execution at the end, you're gonna see an artifact here and I can perfectly click on this. You're gonna see that it is gonna download an HTML report that I can access over here, right? And you're gonna see a full report of my execution. So you can see that I only have a couple of test scripts, the example spec, which was the default one, and the test one, which doesn't have an assertion, so it is gonna work, of course. <laughs> but well, there could be a possibility of not finding an element and that kind of stuff, right? And you're gonna see that here we have a lock of Chromium, Firefox, and WebKit, and everything is working amazingly fine. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching it until the end. I hope that you uh, can subscribe, hit the like button. It is going to help this channel to grow. And I, I just want to say thank you very much for every everyone who is supporting this channel over every single week that I'm here. Thank you very much, guys. See you in the next one. This was your media. See you soon. Bye.